Um, amazing. And, and what a shame that uh, it looks like some people abuse camper vans as well. Look, come on, folks, don't do that. There are people, the same with rental cars, isn't it? There are people using these vehicles after you, spare a thought, and it sounds like somebody trashed the camper van. It, they trashed it, and uh, it was uh, the company's name is Let's Go Camping, and it's a girl that she does all the restoration work herself. She's re she's restored like four or five vehicles herself, so I really wanted to support her. Uh, yeah. They have like a vintage look, uh, and and she was, I mean, she, the poor thing, she was devastated, and I was more devastated for her because I'm still going on holidays wherever it is, but she was left without one van and without the money of our week uh, and with no way of repairing that, so uh it i mean in the end it didn't have air conditioning so i think it saved us from something but uh, i really wanted to have that experience i really wanted to have the experience in jerez because i think it's a great look location to do that mm. and i really like to support these small businesses and especially women uh, business uh and uh, considering that she did all the work herself i mean that's incredible but uh, in the end, it wasn't possible. This this is um, the company. Exactly. The one about. that we were about to rent is the, the blue one. Uh, oh, this is the blue. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. So they're retro vans. Uh, you make a good yes. point. That the older ones don't have air conditioning. So that could have been a little bit difficult, couldn't it? Yeah. Well, it, we were in Jerez. It's not as, as, as hot, but... Uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. The, I think it's uh, she's restored it. Uh, they 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 look great. They they take animals as well, so she supports that as well. And um, it, it, in the end, it wasn't possible. I'm, I hope that she was she managed to to get it up to speed and to recover from it because. It's it's just such a shame. Uh, people just use it and they don't care. And she doesn't take a, a how do you call it a, a deposit, a, a big deposit. It's like a hundred euros or something. So it's nearly it's not nearly enough to cover any expense. I think there are going to be people here who are going to see this and want to support. Let's go camping. Pt. What's her name, Raquel? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Sorry. It's the, My... owner, it's the owner of this company that we that we yeah. yeah. If, if you go, sorry, go on. If you if you go, I, I follow her on Instagram, uh, and I actually I, I mean I message her back and forth all the time, uh, but but I I really don't remember. Um, but it was it was just su such a shame. Look at that. It's I mean it's it fit it fit six people. It. That fits six people. To, so three on the top, yeah, and three below. And uh, it, it would, you know, I, I think it's still a great, a great company. And I'm, I really hope that she recovers from that. I hope so, too. I mean, one of the things that might have happened, or there, there, there's a classic camper van view. I remember that from ours when you when you're lying in bed and you throw up the, uh, the, the back door and you can just watch the world go by. And, and that's um, that's kind of a retro roof rack tent by the look of it. Mm -hmm. So higher as well. This is a great company, great idea. Love it, and and the fact that they welcome uh, pets and animals. Animals, yeah. You want breakfast in the morning, sleep in the kitchen tonight. That's some good life advice, right there. Look at all these fantastic places where she's taken her own vans and and done some photo shoots. We know that, don't we? That's probably Monsanto, isn't it, or not far from? Looking at yeah, the uh, yeah. Gabriel Bridge there. Low. I could look at these pictures all day. They're fantastic, and she's done a fabulous renovation on a these. Fantastic with job, fantastic job. Uh, it, it, alone, mind you, she did it all with her own two bare hands. So amazing what woman! What an incredible woman! When I was coming through the Jirash with our Mazda Bongo, I did start to smell a strange um, fragrance aroma, and I realised why there were some extra numbers on my gearbox. On the automatic gearbox, and, mm -hmm. and we were coming. We, I think I burnt the gearbox a little bit, <laughs> and so maybe that's what can happen. You got to learn how to drive these things properly as well, which I don't think I did. It was incredible. It was the smell of 
um, of eucalyptus, pine, those alpine smells of the Jiresh, and some Mazda Bongo gearbox as well, because I didn't yeah. adjust the gears appropriately. And then the next day, I had to climb out of, it was my first experience, Raquel, of these very steep car parks that you have here in Portugal. Yeah. It was one of the steepest. I was so scared about getting out of this car park having had the experience of, of stressing the gearbox the day before, but I actually asked the family to wait for me at the top of the slope and got them all out. <laughs> and I mean, I know, yeah, I, it, was I hear you. it was terrifying. And then I thought, okay, well, that's just the north of Portugal. And then I experienced this in a Lisbon car park. <laughs> Later, the, the engineering of car parks is extraordinary here in Portugal. And another thing you were saying that I'd love to pick up on um, is how if it's more than half an hour away, for Portuguese people, that's too far, is it? And, you know, I'm, I'm astounded. I've talked to you. I've talked to Vitor Costa about this. And I say, oh, are you going to come to tomorrow and meet us over there for our meetup or whatever? And I say, oh, yeah, yeah, I've never been there. I'm like, what? You're Portuguese. <laughs> you haven't been to tomorrow or Paleta Jerez. Um, but that's not unusual, is it? I think Portuguese people... No, not at all. 